Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Foam Brewers Dead Wax IPA. Six point eight percent IPA from Foam up in Burlington. Drink fresh. Time kills art. Interesting thing there. I like how it looks like they. Um, I think they actually hire a different artist for every one of their can labels, and I'm not sure if they have like a list of artists that they kind of rotate out. But I think it's really neat that they give back to the community by using a local artist to display their work. That's pretty their cool. Own can, on their own art. Well, dang. I'm crushing that local commerce game right there. Like we've mentioned before, we've done a couple foam beers. Uh, I think the first time I had them was at Snallygaster 2019. Yes. I think I you've had them before that, haven't you? Yeah, I've had them at a few of the Snally parties. Snally and parties? Call they're them like the pre-parties parties or whatever? They're like, they're like pre-tasting. Like they essentially give you like a a little tease of what breweries you can expect at the, at the actual event, and they're able to like bring in oh. beers from those breweries, but only for that night, or only for uh, until they run out or whatever. That's crazy. This looks like uh, the Equilibrium Photon. Yeah. Remember that one? That was a good beer. Huge notes of like bursting melon in that beer. I've really, if I can get my hands on that again, I will, I will buy the shit out of it. I loved that beer. Dead Wax. I don't know what this name means. It just has like a turntable guy, like a skeleton head inside a beer glass with a turntable on top and then a bunch of books on the sides mm. and uh, some flat, uh, one single flower. It's red. I don't know. This beer smells like, like hops. It's very juicy smelling. I'm getting some, I'm definitely getting some tangerine, some pineapple in it's there. It's really bright. It's a bright IPA. I'm getting sweetness. Oh, it's gonna be delicious, I can't yeah. really tell. It smells really, really bright. Like, it's gonna pop. Yep. Tangerine, papaya, melon, maybe some grapefruit. I don't know, let's dive in and see what it's, it's Cheers. right. Cheers. Damn, I'm actually getting quite a bit of pineapple yeah. in there. With a lot of pineapple. And it's almost like the bitter rind of the pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's almost like drinking fresh pineapple juice. That forward palate is, is pineapple, and then the mid palate is like that earthiness. And then on the back end, you just get that sort of bitterness mm. kind of hanging out in the throat a little bit. And I think they brewed this with Azaka hops, so that could explain some of that earthiness, because if I yeah. remember Azaka hops. I, I have always found them to be a little to, bit earthy. Yeah, yeah, to be a bit earthy. A little bit uh, dank and dense. For some reason, it's just, I think maybe it's just because it's, it has a lighter body to it. Yeah, and for, that's exactly why it gives you that kind of brightness yeah, yeah. to the beer. For a 7% beer, this actually drinks lighter than it is. And it's really quite refreshing. Uh, this one has all the bright kind of poppy melon notes and stuff like that that you smell on, on, the, pal on the aroma definitely exists in the palate and it drinks like a 5%, 6% IPA. Right. Decent beer for sure. Nothing extra extraordinary, uh, but a good flavorful combination of hops here. Uh, very good drinkability, good bitterness levels, and a nice uh, carbonation level here. I, this is a great beer for, probably not so much for winter time, but definitely for like three seasons out of the year. So yeah, I'm into it. I mean, I'll drink an IPA in the dead of winter. I don't care. <laughs> Like that's that's my year round beer. All right guys, well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. <laughs>